let's, uh, let's put a button on Cobra Kai now. Um, so the way we end this thing is we go to something that I like to call the terrible twos. I like to call it that because Mike forced me to. <laughs> Um, he likes oh, to call it that because it's dumb and he loves dumb things. Also, one yeah. final thing about just off the off topic is I like seeing when uh, Johnny was parked at Mulholland Drive looking down at the whole valley. So when right. you guys see beautiful. him, when you see him like pulled over and looking down at the valley below, now you know that's what it is. It's Mulholland Drive. Obviously, he didn't say it, but we know that's got to be Mulholland Drive. I just want to know what he's doing up there to get the fire, uh, your fire phone call, like... That's the most beautiful place in the world to get bad news, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you're right. So what we do here is we close out with the terrible twos, which is the two toughest questions of the day. And the first one goes a little, a little something like this. Michael Kenyon Rosenberg, scale of one to 10, what would you give the first episode of Cobra Kai? On a scale of one to 10, I would give Cobra Kai a strong seven, a strong seven. Not just a regular seven, a very <laughs> strong seven. Mm, okay. I felt like it was good, it was nostalgic. Uh, they definitely treated the subject matter right. It could have been, it could have gone a lot worse. Uh, and they, they definitely pleasantly surprised me. I like the subtle humor. Um, yeah, I give it a strong seven. Okay. Vera, what about you? Scale of one to 10, what would you give this first episode? I give it a rocking eight and a half. <laughs> I, I am very excited to see the rest of the show now. I almost did, but I just ran out of time. You just answered the second question already. Oh, oh snap. I didn't, I didn't even hear half. it. So I <laughs> pretended like I didn't even know, but eight and a half. Okay. You know, half. coincidentally, I'm vacillating between eight and a half and nine as well. Wow. I think, I think, I think I have to stick with an 8.5 because the only, it, it just wasn't, it, it would have had to make me a little bit more curious as to what's going to happen in episode two for me to push it to a nine. I originally thought nine, but then I was like, I was like, you know, I, I'm not like dying to find out what happened because you know what's going to happen next. Theoretically, he's going to teach the kid and then things will happen and whatever. And then he's going to talk to Daniel's son about his daughter or something, or maybe he won't. But anyway, um, eight and a half, a very, very karate kick, powerful 8.5 bordering mm. on a nine. Mm. Um, very good. It's very, it was a, it is a very solid pilot. This is something where if somebody reads this pilot, uh, they're going to want to see everything. And if they just watch the pilot, they're going to want to buy the show. It's good. It's very good, I think. Um, now, for the purposes of this podcast, we had to watch the first episode. Michael Kenyon Rosenberg, now that you no longer have the pressure of needing to watch this episode, the podcast is over of your own volition, would you watch the second? I would not. I enjoyed the first, but uh, uh, yeah, I'm not really that interested in seeing more. I don't really care. Like you said, like we kind of know what's going to happen. It's kind of a little, it's, it's going to be predictable. It, it might not be, but then I, I just don't really care enough. Mm -hmm. What about Vera? Would you, do you, or not would you, I'm do gonna you take care it all the way. I'm going to, I'm going to watch this show. I'm going to, Take it all the way to the end. That sounds like um, an 80s song. Yeah, take, take it, it to all the, the way to the it, end. I was going to say, take it to the limit. Take well, that's, it to that's the my limit. Answer. I'm, I'm answering in the spirit of the 80s. Nice. <laughs> if you um, want, I can play the spirit of the 80s on guitar for you, and then I'll, I'll play you a riff or something, some Metallica. <laughs> oh, I thought there was an actual song called Spirit of the 80s. I was like, I, I was going to say, yeah. One. Let's Sounds write rocking. the song, the three of us together. Spirit of the eighties. Spirit of the eighties. And we'll do it like uh, that that song. Um, we didn't start the fire, but and just name every TV show of the eighties and all the movies. Karate Kid, Cobra Kai. That was nineteen eighty eight, I think. We didn't start the fire. Maybe eighty nine. 
he can. But we'll 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 write a song and we'll just name every like, like just like that. We didn't start the fire song. Just like everything name it all. Yes. But I'll tell you, I'm dying to know if Ryan would watch the second. Yeah, Ryan. Would Don't you? die, man. Because uh, I'm gonna tell you. Well, that then you're gonna save my life. Yeah. <laughs> What a That's hero. So, um, boy, uh, I'm going to give this a solid yes. I would watch the second episode. Have not, you watched the second? Nope. Okay. Not because I'm dying to watch it or not because I'm like, I got to know what happens, but because it was fun, it gave me a good feeling. And the bottom line is I enjoyed it. And even if uh, the writing doesn't shock me, even if the writing doesn't have me begging for what's going to happen next, all that is kind of second to the fact that it just made me happy watching it. It was an enjoyable watch. And I think that nowadays that aspect of TV viewing is kind of sorely lacking. Like people oh, yeah. forget that sometimes people just want to watch something because it makes you happy. It's enjoyable. Right. And that's why so many people go back and watch like old Full House reruns or Friends reruns or even why they revamped Full House again. It's because sometimes they just kind of want to leave your brain at the door and, you know, turn off the news for God's sakes and just watch something that you could just be dumb and laugh about. Yeah, and, whatever happened to entertainment, you yeah. know? Well, we've got it here and I would watch, yeah. I would watch the second episode, yes. WTF Fuller House. Oh, don't do that to us. <laughs> But if Do you want us to Ryan, if you want us to watch the first episode of Fuller House or Full House, just put it in the comments below. So please remember in the comments below, WTF, whatever you want us to see, and we will do it. Also, as Michael likes to say, elbow drop, karate kick that subscribe button, smash that bell icon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but be sure you do that and definitely comment below what you thought of Cobra Kai. Tell us what you think we should watch next and we will uh, see you next time, right guys? And most importantly, leave us a like. Give us, click that thumbs up button and if you didn't like us, then don't click any buttons. Right. No, just click subscribe anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah obviously. That'll that. teach us a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aww. Vera, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a blast. I hope you had me. fun too. Yeah, thanks oh, for being here. Awesome. And for those of you at home, as Michael likes to say, this podcast was... Oh yeah, that's right. That's what Michael likes to say. Um, this podcast was a karate kick flavored fruit punch. That was terrible. I just really yeah. want to just... I just really want you to say your thing, but okay, we'll do okay. it. So this, that's what this podcast was. Go ahead, Mike. This podcast was a spear <laughs> punch to the throat. Ooh. This podcast was an illegal kick to the face. Uh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> nice. And now I'll say it. Don't forget everyone to watch the first of things. Beautiful. See you next time guys. Beautiful.